welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your version of Tomcat to your AWS EC2 instance. Before we get started, you need to have the link to your version of Tomcat. Here I am on the tomcatapache.org page. My version that I need is Tomcat 9, so I'm here. If you need one of the other ones, note you can get 8 or 7 or perhaps another earlier one on another page. So go ahead and go to that page first. Now I need to have the URL for one of the binary distributions, the one that's appropriate for my setup. For our EC2 instance, you want to get the tar.gz. So right click on that and copy the address. Next you want to open your terminal and connect to your EC2 instance. Notice I'm currently in my EC2-user folder. The next step is we want to actually get the installation file. So let's see if we can use wget. First thing we need to do is see if wget is actually installed on this EC2 instance. I can do yum install wget loaded plugins, it's already installed, nothing to do. Okay, that means then I can use wget followed by the link to the tar file that I want to get. Hit enter and that will start to get loaded onto your system. To see that it's there, hit ls-l and I can see that the tar file is here. The next step is to simply unzip this tarball file. To do that, you can type tar dash zvxf, then the name of the file, and hit enter. You will notice that it will unzip. Let's have a look. Yeah, I see that there's also a file there. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and remove the tar file, but I think I'm going to leave it for a while. So we have a few more steps in order to set up Tomcat and get it to run. First, we need to get into our Tomcat bin folder. Let's do cd apache dash Tomcat dash nine dot zero dot three three slash bin. We hit ls dash l. We'll notice a bunch of files. Notice we have startup dot sh and we have shutdown dot sh. I want to change mod these so that they're executable. If you haven't already done so, be sure to raise yourself to super user with sudo su. Then type chmod plus x startup.sh. Then do the same thing for shutdown, chmod plus x shutdown.sh, and hit enter. Now if you look at shutdown and startup, all groups can execute those lines. Let's see if startup then will work to start Tomcat. Try this, dot slash startup.sh. There we go, it looks like it started up. How about shutdown, dot slash shutdown dot sh. I believe it's now shut down. Let's clear and get to some other settings for Tomcat. The next thing we want to do is set the port to 8090. Now I do this because I sometimes think that these AWS EC2 instances are using 8080 for other things. So we're going to use 8090 for our Tomcat connection. We need to navigate to the conf conf folder of Tomcat. So let's go up a level, cd dot dot, then now go down into conf, c-o-n-f. If I hit ls dash l, I see a bunch of files. We want to edit the server.xml file. So we'll use our nano editor because it's easy. N-A-N-O server.xml. Now we're going to scroll down until we see port 8080 and we're going to change that to port 8090. And here we go. The one you need to do is the one that's not in a comment. I generally like to go ahead and adjust the comments as well so that they are consistent with my changes. Okay, that's the only change we need to make to this file. So hit Control X, hit Yes to save, and hit enter to write to server.xml. So we change the port. We still have a few other settings to change. We're going to go into our web apps folder and we're going to go to a couple lower folders to change some files called context XML. So let's back up a little bit here. 
go down into web apps, CD web apps. I'll leave the first one is in host manager. So let's do CD host manager. And it's in within the meta inf folder. CD meta dash inf. We see one file in here called context XML, and this is the one that we need to edit. It turns out that Tomcat Manager is only accessible from the computer you're working on unless we make some changes to this and the other context XML file. So type nano context.xml. We're going to comment out this valve command. Make that like you would an HTML comment. Put angle bracket exclamation point dash dash in front of it and then go to the end and put dash dash angle bracket. Now save this file. Control X. Yes to save. Enter to save that. Now we have another context file in the manager folder we need to do. So let's go up a couple here. Now down into the manager. Now down into meta-inf. And then let's fix this context as well. Same thing. Change that into an HTML type comment. It's actually an XML type comment if you want to get picky about it. So control X, yes, and enter to save. Now we need to set up a username and password for our Tomcat manager. So let's browse to Tomcat comp folder. So I got to go up a couple. Okay get a listing of those files, we also see a tomcat-users.xml file. We need to edit this one. So let's do nano tomcat-users.xml. What we're going to do down here is we're going to add a couple roles and we are going to give that, those roles a username and password. So I'm going to uncomment this portion. Now I don't need the last two lines of this portion, so let's comment those back again. Now in the first role name, let's change Tomcat to the word manager-gui. And let's change for the second role name, manager-script. What we're doing is we're going to set the password for the Tomcat web-based manager so that we can access Tomcat through a browser. So for username, change that to anything you'd like. I'm going to keep mine simply admin. And I'm going to change my password to admin. You should probably pick something more secure. Then for the roles, I'm going to list both of those, manager-gui, comma, manager-script. And that's the change I need. Remember what password and username you use there, because that's what you're going to need when we connect to this using a browser. Save the file. Control-X, yes, enter to save. Mostly we're done, but what we need to do is start up Tomcat again. But we need to start up Tomcat again. So let's go back up here to Tomcat. Let's see, bin slash startup dot sh. Tomcat is now started. So let's get back to a browser to see if Tomcat is now working and if we can get to the Tomcat manager window we need to go to our public DNS but also we need to do it through port 90 so I'm going to copy to the clipboard my public DNS 
I'm going to open a new tab, paste that in, colon 8090. Cool. We can now see that Tomcat is working, and we can view the Tomcat Manager page. Click on Manager Apps. After entering your password, you can view the Tomcat Web Manager page here. We will use this page later to deploy our application. At this point, we have completed setting up our EC2 instance. We will set up our other components in the next few videos.